News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, an accident victim dies from his injuries. An inmate escapes from his trustee position. And a man is attacked while trying to rescue his cat. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Zach Reiner and Unet Gentry. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Thursday, March 23rd, 2017. I'm Zach Reiner. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Our top story tonight, an auto versus pedestrian accident has sadly turned into a fatal accident. News 46 spoke to Fire Chief Scott Lewis today about yesterday's accident involving an 85-year-old man who was ran over by his own truck shortly after leaving the physical therapy clinic located on Highway 372. Just around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon, we were dispatched for a report of a pedestrian motor vehicle accident. Upon arrival, crews found the accident as described involving a pedestrian. However, it did not involve a separate vehicle. It involved the same vehicle in which that person had been operating. This was inside a shopping center parking lot, right? It's my understanding, yes, that it was in the front parking lot of a shopping center that included such stores like Desert View, Rehab, and other storefronts. The person's own vehicle ran them over? It, it's under investigation, but it's our understanding that the vehicle may not have been placed correctly in the park. The occupant attempted to exit the vehicle. The vehicle swung in an arcing um, type of a position or a roll, thus running, pushing the person to the ground and running over them. You guys arrived on scene then? Quick assessment was completed and obviously the patient met flight criteria. The engine company added Mercy Air 21 to the assignment. The patient was transported from the scene directly to base 21 where that crew was waiting and they flew that patient to trauma. And that person we've heard didn't survive the injuries? It's my understanding that that patient did not survive the injuries. Was that person the only occupant in this vehicle? To the best of my knowledge. He had less than two months to serve when he decided to walk away from detention today. Inmate Robert Lynn now is facing more time behind bars after he allegedly escaped jail, then took police on a short foot pursuit. 57-year-old Robert Scott Lynn has been captured after he escaped from the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center this afternoon, approximately 1230. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office press release, inmate Lynn, who was scheduled to be released on May 19th of this year, was originally charged with petty larceny. He escaped approximately 1230 this afternoon and was quickly captured. Lynn was made an inmate worker on February 20th and has had no issues since then. Food delivery truck had backed up to the loading dock at the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center off Basin Avenue, according to the release. Prior to the gate closing, inmate Robert Lynn ran through the open gate. Nye County Sheriff's Office evidence staff leaving the Sheriff's Office observed the inmate running from the facility and immediately notified the dispatch. Units responded and approximately nine minutes later inmate Lynn was located hiding behind the animal hospital on Basin Avenue. Lynn was arrested for escape and transported back to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center and has been booked on the new charge. Animal Control is investigating a dog attack that occurred yesterday that left a man bleeding and his cat deceased. A 52-year-old man was transported from a local animal hospital on Homestead Road this afternoon shortly after arriving to bring his injured cat in for emergency treatment. Pahrump Valley Farm Rescue, Nye County Sheriff's deputies, and Nye County Animal Control arrived at Homestead Animal Hospital after the badly bitten man arrived with significant injuries. He was reportedly attempting to rescue his cat from the grips of three dogs at his aunt's home on Jackie Street here in Pahrump and was attacked by the trio. The man was 
transported to Desert View Hospital with bite marks to his head, ears, face, and arms. He allegedly was holding his feline friend to get it away from the dogs after they chased it. That's when his aunt's boyfriend's dogs attacked him. Animal Control is investigating. The cat died at the veterinary clinic. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Nice county school district decisions and more local news after this break.